On this episode of 3 Kilobytes, ANC Games send Mike and Jay to Boston for PAX East, where gamers' dreams come true. 3KB talks to the indie developers and meets some fans. Video Game Awesome creates a cult, while Jay tries Diablo 3 on the PS3. And Mike gets kicked out of The Last of Us booth. Right here, right now, on 3KB. Fuck you, 3KB. I'm Mike. I'm Jay. And welcome to PAX East in Boston. We're here in the lovely convention center. This right here is actually not the floor. This is just the lobby to get into PAX East. As soon as I got in here, the, the nerves in my penis reactivated. I could feel it. Um, and there's you feel this? People are, are playing The Last of Us down there. Lizard's got a booth down there playing Diablo 3 on the PS3. Elder Scrolls Online. Elder Scrolls Online. Watch Dogs is down there. Watchy Dogs. And all these amazing little independent games. Uh, and we, we, this couldn't be possible. We couldn't be here without ANC Games. Thank you so much for helping us get here and uh, providing support for us. So what are you most excited about down I'm, there? I'm most excited about Watch Dogs and the indie games. The little indie games are so cool down there. And there's also a PC section where you can buy PC parts and just... There's an if you brought your PC, you can do there's, that. Yeah, there's an Alienware there's tournament. We've yeah. been here one day. We've already got to see some of the sights and sounds. So let's take you through it. Let's do it. Woo. So we're here at the PC room here, as you can see. And this is two things right now, actually. There's Alienware tournament going on. So all these tournaments are going on using the Alienware hardware. And then you can bring your own PC over here. And that's where you get to see some pretty damn cool rigs. So as you can see behind me, this is the craziest thing I've ever seen personally, because I've never been to a Magic the Gathering tournament. But this is insane. Probably 500 people come through here. There's a huge tournament. You actually have to register to get into this. It's amazing to see this. So if you're a fan of Magic the Gathering, PAX is definitely somewhere where you want to go. Hi guys, uh, I'm Jermaine. I'm from Sword, Swordbot Studio. And uh, we're working on a game called Castle Story. Uh, Castle Story is like a, a voxel-based sort of Minecraft-ish kind of game. Uh, we're using the, the sort of Lego kind of uh, gameplay. You're using bricks to, be, to build castles, and then uh, we're using an RTS godlike kind of mode mechanic to, uh, to uh, have an army of little guys to help you build the castle for you. So basically, it's a resource management game, creative. Uh, exploration sandbox kind of game as well. There's a um, there's a bit of uh, combat uh, towards like the, the the end game and uh, basically you're tasked with um, defending the own ca the, your own castle that you built by hand brick by brick and uh, so monsters are gonna try and get in and uh, break the castle and uh, you know it's um, it's a physics based game so if anything happens to your walls or to your to your towers they're gonna crumble realistically with the physics engine. So it's a very architecture-based uh, kind of game. We hope to have a release date, uh, maybe start of summer. We're a small team, so uh, we don't we, we don't have a concrete date to give. But uh, basically, you can pre-order on a website. It's called Castle Story, and uh, you can check the website. It's CastleStory.net. Uh, thanks for checking us out. Hi, I'm Christian Beckland here from uh, Moonshot Games, where we're showing Third Eye Crime at PAX East. And we have a stealth, sort of stealth puzzle game here coming out uh, in, on iPad in early June, shortly after for iPhone, in which you play uh, Rothko, a telepathic art thief. And you get to run around in these very film noir inspired, gritty environments, such a beautiful jazz soundtrack, evading enemies, and using your kind of telepathic powers to make sure you don't get caught by all sorts of sneaky guards. So there's uh, about 80, 90 levels, and uh, also some neat little gadgets, also some neat little NPCs to evade, and as you can see right here. So hi, I'm Amy Dallas. I'm with Clutch Play Games out of Portland, Oregon. And our game that we are demoing here today at the Indie Showcase of PAX is Little Chomp. And Little Chomp is basically a vertical platformer. So it's a little bit like Angry Birds on Crack, but you're going up instead of sideways. And you're not knocking things down. You're just trying to get to the top of the level. You're going to collect all the coins and fruit that you can. And you can 
make a butterfly out of those. We hope everybody really likes it. My name is Martin Brouard. I'm executive producer for Zombie Tycoon 2, Brain of Revenge, a game made uh, by Freema Studio. Zombie Tycoon 2 is a real-time strategy game. Uh, you play it on uh, PlayStation Vita and or PlayStation 3. So it's a game that uh, is cross-buy and cross-play. So you buy it once you get it on both platforms. We uh, are using the controls of a uh, traditional console uh, controller uh, to map the four units that you'll be using mostly into the game. So you have a mobile base. Instead of having a base that you build and a resource that you gather, instead you have a mobile base that spawns uh, new zombies and that acts as uh, the goal of the multiplayer match. You can also play the classic shambling, slow but tough zombies or the more more modern, blue, uh, fast, rabid, and more squishy zombies. There's also a big uh, single-player campaign where you learn all of uh, the story behind the game. Uh, it's very humoristic. In Zombie Tycoons, you play as the zombies. The game is going to be released on April 30th. Uh, PlayStation Network for both Vita and uh, it's going to have a platinum trophy too. So I just played Diablo 3 at the PS3 booth. Believe it or not, it's actually a lot of fun. Now I heard something crazy that there's offline play. So I wonder how those PC players out there feel, but I can't believe how well they've adapted it to it. Now I did notice there's a little screen tearing, but I'm sure they're gonna fix that before it gets released. It's, it's an incredible amount of fun. I can't believe how well it controls. There's no point and click anymore. You just walk around and aim and shoot. It's, it feels like this is how Diablo should have been should have been played the whole time. I loved it. My personal opinion, from what I played, I'd love to play it on here as opposed to sitting at a PC all the time. Uh, obviously, I didn't get to see what it's like online or what how the uh, the chat's gonna work, but so far, so good. Hi guys, how you doing? My name is Malik. Uh, I'm from this little cult of gamers called Max Level. And uh, I decided to take some time stop beating my meat and leave my room and come out to Boston for PAX East. Uh, I want to give a big shout out to 3KB. These guys are awesome. Uh, you can't see them, but uh, they're just so sexy. So sexy. Yeah, that guy right there. I'll kill a man for a kiss from you. <laughs> You smell like won't do it. You smell like baloney. And all these people. You gotta keep your torso straight. Your head straight. What? So this is uh, Jay Hooft here signing uh, an autograph for the very first time. For our fan, it Nicholas. Isn't the first. It's the very I'm first very time. Popular. No, it's the first time, Nicholas. You did it. Hey, look, he met Sly Fox. Oh, we're gonna go bump into him later. We're having dinner with Sly Fox. Now. Yeah, yeah. What's up, homies? So thanks for bumping into us. Thank you. It was awesome, awesome to you meet you. You gave us credit, video Thank evidence, you. credit that somebody knows us. <laughs> All right, so we're here on the floor in Pax East, right beside the Machinima booth, and we met some three kilobytes fans here. We got we got Joshua. <laughs> Let's get you first. We're with Joshua. <laughs> we got Chris. We we're got Ryan. And uh, what are you guys loving about PAX East? Just the atmosphere. There is no GTA 5, eh? There's I know. No that's what, that's my biggest disappointment. There's Rockstar. no Valve. Rockstar was here last year, and they're not here this year, as far as I've seen so far. Chris, what games have you tried that you like the most? Um, I did get a chance to play Diablo 3 on the PS3. The controls are super smooth. Um, had no, didn't really have much of a complaint for it. Um, only got to play about five to ten minutes of it. Jay was playing it earlier, and he was saying that he actually prefers playing it on the PS3. Now that he's trying, I would agree with Jay. And PC gamers are going to kill you, but I know they are. They're going to swarm me. But um, it's it's different. Like I don't. I mean, it's been a while sense. since I played Diablo 3, but you can like roll. It's just easier to you know cast you know cast.
pass your uh, spell to whoever you raise. Right, right, right. Well, I want to thank you guys. Thank you for watching yeah, us on YouTube. It's amazing. It's lovely to meet you. Absolutely. This wasn't planned at all. We just ran into each other. So that's great. Back to you, Jay. That's how it happens. Hey, I'm here with Alan. If you know Alan, then you're a hardcore fan of 3 Killbytes. Alan's actually from, um, what is it, Fan Expo two yeah. years ago? Yeah, two years ago. I so he, he stopped us in the hallway. So what's you're a legend in the fan community. <laughs> right. What's your favorite thing you've seen? Uh, today I went to a Gearbox panel. How was that? Uh, it, was, it was cool. I really liked uh, Gearbox. They're entertaining guys. So. Thank you, Alan. Yeah. All right, so we'll see you at Fan Expo in yep, August. for sure. A special gift to Chris. Here you go, Chris. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. So for your dedication, your loyal love last three days in the hotel room, <laughs> the way that you smelled was good, the way that you showered was long and hot. Thank you. You're welcome, buddy. Put that on your wall. There you go. Thank you. There you go. There you go. Smells good, eh? Smells delicious. Good? <laughs> yeah! yeah. No way we can fit on that horse. <laughs> oh. So, uh, hey, oh, there you are. So I think I hope thank you for uh, joining us here at PAX East. I hope you had a lovely time. And uh, if you didn't get a chance to come here, I hope this video provided you some info that you didn't know about. You like my shirt? I love your shirt. Chop Shop Goods. Chop Shop Goods. And thank you, ANC Games. Thank you. sent us to PAX East this year. Yes. I think we might go to PAX Prime. Yes. And then E3. Never. Patty Cake Pack. Baker Smith. We're going home now. Bye. I'm Mike. Hey, you. You. Cheers. <laughs> Still makes me laugh. <laughs> oh, there goes the light. Yeah.